Hello, welcome back to Subtech Online. It's me again, Sabit Christopher. Today we are going to look at uh, how do we sum and count two way dynamically. So, what do we mean here? We are going to sum or count uh, considering the two categories. We shall consider the color at the same time we consider the size. In other words, uh, you look at the color, this is red, and the size is uh, uh, long or large. So, when we find that it is red and large, that is two. Purple and medium, that is one. So that's how we are going to do the counting. Then the summing, still the same way, but the summing shall be considering the amount. So we shall be summing what has captured the red and and uh, and uh, and large. Then that becomes the sum. But all this is going to be done using the array functions. That is the unique function, the filter function. We are just going to play about the unique, then the sum if and the count if. And we are going to do this. It will stay dynamic. Any change that you do on your table, uh, the sums and the counts will change dynamically. Okay, let's begin. Okay, now uh, I've already transferred uh, the raw data on another sheet. Now this is the sheet we are going to use. Now the first thing is you have to first change your table into, you have to first create a table within your data. So how do we create a table? There are two options of creating a table. The first option is using a shortcut that is a control T. So control T will give us uh, the dialog option of selecting uh, the range which is already auto selected and here we check whether the first row selected is our headers. Yes, the first row is our headers, and here we'll do OK. Then another option is click in your data. Make sure that your data has no blank column. It has no blank cells. Go to Insert. You can just click even if you don't select the whole data. Go to Insert, then you go to Insert a Table. So the moment I click on Insert a Table, still it will do the same thing. So I'll click on this, and automatically this one becomes a table. How do we tell that it is already a table format? It's when you get uh, a, a ribbon, a tab on your ribbon. When you click into your data, the table is, and when you click out of your data, it disappears. So the moment you click in your data and you have this option of table design, which means this is automatically a table. So we are going to give our table uh, a name so I'll give this a name. I will say this is our data. Oh, sorry, this one is already existing. So we shall go with uh, another name. I will call it color. I'll call it attires. So uh, we have called our table attires, uh, which means now what we want is uh, we are going to count the colors, but we need to pick uh, to pick the colors dynamically, and we need a unique list of the colors. We also need a unique list of the sizes. We shall have one in the rows, another one in the columns. Uh, then this should be picking dynamically. Any addition you do, it should also be done dynamically on the result table. So this, we are going to have this as our result table. So we start with the first one. We are going to pick the unique uh, color, the unique list of the colors. So how do we do that? We use the formula equals to uh, unique, uh, equals to unique, uh, open parenthesis. Then what is the array? The moment you have already named your table, you have given it a name and your data is already encapsulated into a table. You don't need to go there and select. Even though I go there and select, it will give me uh, the default, the table name and the column name. So always, if you feel like your data is on another sheet and you don't want to refer to it, it is a matter of uh, having, uh, this is attires, having uh, the table name, Actually, I call the table entries. It's okay, we can go with that. So having the table name, then you open square bracket, then you include the 
uh, the the column name that is color I tab you close so there you automatically select this so you get it from today that the moment you name your table you give it a name you can automatically refer to the columns or uh, the whole table without doing the selection there uh, so we want unique unique a unique list or a unique array from this list so the moment I enter it will be giving us the unique list from there it is not sorted if you want to sort you can go ahead and have another formula function which you can include as sort then unique so it will automatically uh, sort this alphabetically so we can go with that then another thing we are going to have the unique list of the sizes and this one we shall need to the moment after getting a list so let me try this so we can do the same thing here it will be uh, equals to unique uh, unique this time we select the whole of this eh? which is already entries and en 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 entire then size so i will enter so you see that it is dropping down and we need this one to spread horizontally that is in one row so what do we do we are going to transpose this so we shall uh, include or encapsulate the unique function uh, into a transpose function so i'll transpose this so the moment we do a transpose it will transpose the array and this is it so transposing the array which means it was vertical this time it is horizontal when it is horizontal it becomes a vertical now the next thing we are going to is we are going now to count the, the two scenarios we want to count what is blue and large what is blue and medium what is blue and uh, and small and doing this count we want it to be dynamic still we shall go ahead and use the count if so since we already have arrays it's going to be something simple to go with so here we do count ifs uh, since we are considering uh, two criterions so the first the first criteria range we are considering is the the color so i will select this or you can go ahead as i've already told you you put uh, entire then color comma then what is the, our criteria our criteria is just behind this formula uh, let me click here so it is uh, on it is on h h h5 that is the red behind that so i'll just link to this h5 uh, but remember this is an array so i want uh, it to consider it as an array that's why i will add a hash such that it selects an array so if you are to refer to an any dominion which is already in an array so it is always refer to the first cell then you put a hash it will pick out the, the whole list of the array then we we'll go to another criterion too the criterion two we are looking at the size which means i can just do this without uh, this is uh, uh there's then uh, this time we are selecting the sizes uh, which is that and uh, uh, our criterion is now we start with the i the i4 which means when I select the whole of this, you realize that it is putting uh, I4 then with a hash, meaning that it has already sensed that this was an array before. So the moment I enter, just a moment, we have to close the square bracket. Have to close that square bracket, then I enter. So you realize that uh, since uh, this one is already denom denoting an array, this is denoting a table column and this one a table column and this one is already an array so the moment you put the formula in the first cell it will spread to fill out the array both in the column and the the, the horizontal so 
both the rows and the columns will be filled out because we have an array here, we have an array here. It is just spilling the array by putting a hash. A hash spills the array and also uh, here for the rows, for the row which we transpose, it will also spill that array. So at the end of the day, you find that we have done this one, dynamic counting this dynamically. So if I added another color here, which means if I add like white and uh, add a large, so you see already it has added, so uh, I, I can add the quantity 12, then the amount is 34. So automatically we receive the one on medium. So the moment you add just anything, it will adjust automatically. If I change this rate to five, enter, the count, which anyway, we have not changed the count, so the count remains one, but uh, that one will change maybe on the amount. So that's how you can do that. I will fill the formatting here. And there you go. Now let's go to the summing. So summing nearly it is the same thing. Uh, this time we are doing the sum, sum ifs. So the first thing still, we are going to pick a unique ID. So we shall sort our unique, our unique list, unique array. Uh, you can refer to it or you can select this and enter. So it, we shall automatically get the unique list. Uh, then still uh, for the, uh, for the, for the, for the sizes, we do the same thing. Uh, this one is equal to, we are going to transpose this and we shall you need a unique, that one, then this time we need the size. So uh, we transpose that. Now this time we are going to do now the sum ifs. So this is sum ifs. I'm having two criterions, the size and color, that's why I'm using sum ifs. If you have one criteria, you use sum if. So sum ifs, we start with the sum range. What are we summing? This time we are going to sum the entires, we are going to sum the amount. So the moment I start typing, I've already referenced my amount. That's what we are summing. What is the first criteria? The first criteria we are taking uh, the color. Uh -huh. What is the criteria number one? This is it. Remember, because it is uh, because it is an array, the moment I select that array, it will bring from M5 hash, meaning that it's spilling the, the whole array. But if I select this, it will just be M5. Uh, if I select and I don't finish the array, it will just give me a range. But the moment you finish the array, it will put a, a hash, meaning that it is a spill of an array. Uh, comma, we move to the another criteria that is the size. Uh, comma, then uh, the criteria number two, which will be this. But since it is an array, I'm going to include uh, hash. So the moment I enter, so we are summing the amount with the first criteria, the range is the color. This is the array for the color. The second criteria that is size and that is the range for the size. So you can close that parenthesis, then you enter. It will automatically spill down all the summation as it is required. So you see that if I change here my purple medium to be 10 pieces, uh, this one has to automatically change, dynamically changing. So if I change this one that it has increased to a thousand dollars, we shall need automatically see the changes being done. So that is it. The bonus trick, uh, if you don't have Office 20, 2016 uh, up to the latest or Office 365, you may, not, you may not have the unique functions and the sort and the filters. You can go ahead and do this one simply using a pivot table. So uh, if you don't know how to use a pivot table, I'm going to take you through. Select your data, go on insert, insert a pivot table. Uh, we are going to insert a pivot table here on the existing worksheet. I will just put it here and I okay this. Now, uh, 
uh, we are having colors in the rows, so I will pick the color to the rows. We are having uh, the size in the columns. I will pick the size in the to the columns. Then I will ha I have the counts, so I can pick either size or color and drop it the other end. So I can drop the same thing the other side. So what I don't need. Uh, how do we uh, format a pivot table? The default formattings we do in a pivot table first. I'll go to design, uh, report layout, show this tabular form, which means I need the, the headers to be showing. I don't need uh, the totals, the grand totals. I don't need even the subtotals. So this is it. Now you see that it is shrinking my, my columns. I need these columns to stay intact. But every time I update this, it will shrink them. So you right click, go to pivot table options. You remove the auto fit column width on update. So when I uncheck this, which means every time I change, let's say I remove the color size, I put maybe the quantity. Uh, that is, uh, I can go with color steel because we need, we don't need the uh, summing. So if you have put quantities instead of color, this time you will not need to sum. You will change this to count because you are looking at count. And this one will change automatically to count. So you can go ahead and use a pivot table. You get the same thing. You see nearly it is the same thing. Now I can copy the same here. Mm, copy the same. And this time we are having the amount instead. So I will change this to amount. And... There you go. Very done. Simple as that. So thank you for uh, being with me up to the end of this video. Please, if you like uh, what you see, give us a thumbs up, leave a comment, and uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Share with a friend and see you in another video. Thank you. Bye-bye.